Hi everyone, I'm Bill. I'm Justin. And welcome to Car, Car Reviews. Reviews. Okay, um, I know you all think we probably went out and saw, you know, blockers. Or a quiet place. But, quoting was it Monty Python, now time for something completely different. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a controversial episode, isn't it, Justin? Well, controversial, I wouldn't say go that far. The subject matter is very controversial. The movie, on the other hand, tries to keep its hands, I'd say, as clean as they possibly could. And we're going to explain. In the movie we just saw, Chappaquiddick. I let him say it because if I say it, I'm going to butcher it. You try and say it. Go. Uh, Chappaquiddick. No, you said it fine. Okay. Because originally I would be calling it Chattaquiddick or something like that. I was like, oh, Okay. I... The plot, um, okay. The movie, it's based on a true story. So there's going to be spoilers. If, if you don't know what happened, there's this wonderful thing. And guess what it's called? The internet. Isn't Google great? You can Google it. It's on Wikipedia. There's pay tons of news coverage on it it's it's american history it's yeah, one go the, read and it's one of the most controversial uh uh political events in american history well aside from maybe watergate yeah this was probably the watergate before watergate okay so it, it before was. we um go into the plot is that it's 1969 Man is just about to land on the moon. And in a small town of Massachusetts, hell happens. Senator Edward Kennedy, yes, those Kennedys, was, ho ho hoisting, was hosting a party on the island, on the island of Chappaquiddick, that was full of a bunch of people who, who worked on his brother Bobby's campaign staff back in the year prior. Um, so, him and Mary Jo Kopechny, who was one of Bobby's campaign staffers, went, got, went out for a little drive, yeah, and, uh, he was drunk, he was drunk, and he drove off a bridge, drowned the car, he escaped, Mary Jo, did not, and was trapped in the car, suffocating, drowning, and eventually dying. Dies. So, and then, and then it just go, and then it takes place the week of the events. Afterwards, like Kennedy not reporting until hours later when it was probably possible for them to save Mary Jo. Excuse me, I'm a little stuffed up. And you know the, and then it, and then it shows you know, everything after like how are they gonna pat this down? How would they be able to keep it so on the down low that one day Ted would have a chance at the presidency? Because for those of you who didn't pay attention in American history class that day. We all know what happened to his brothers. Hmm. Unless you weren't paying attention. Were you paying attention in class? I was paying that? attention. I was paying attention. And um, it just shows... You know, and it asks the questions of legacy and... You know, how is this going to hold, hold up in the long run? So... It's, it's a story about merit. It's a story about integrity. And... It kind of drags in the second third. How how would you say it drags in the second third? Well, like, from the time he reports it. Yes. Makes a statement. To the time he goes to the funeral. I thought it was just dragging because it was... It's a lot of facts. A lot of facts that they were trying to put in. And they were trying to tell kind of like the complete story. And even that, 
I'm not sure if they completely did because in uh, the last third, Ted kind of does this heel face turn um, involving his cousin Joe. His cousin Joe. Um, he asks him to write him a resignation. And when he's about to make an announcement to the country, he goes, you know what, I'll keep going. And, I'm sorry, it kind of came out of... Nowhere. Nowhere. It, it, I don't understand his reasoning behind it, and that's kind of a big no-no in filmmaking. I know you're trying to make this as factual as you can, but this is also a movie. You gotta put some, you know... You gotta put some motivation. Theatrics. Motivation. Yeah. Not necessarily theatrics, but motivation. Yeah. Um, cast. Jason Clark is the one who plays Ted Kennedy. And he... And you said he's Australian, right? He is Australian. He really pulls off a good Boston accent. Well, this isn't his first time doing a Boston accent. He was yeah. actually on a show called Brothers. Really? Which, oddly enough, he plays a Boston politician. <laughs> Not Ted Kennedy. Um, and he's morally questionable in that one. And in this one, he's... Has morally questionable? Well, he's morally questionable, but he's still trying to be a relatively good band. Good band? Yeah. Uh, wow. Allergies. Yeah. Gotta love them. Okay. Um, and everyone else I thought was actually pretty good. Um, but Kate, Kate Mara plays Mary Jo, and... Well, she probably had the least amount, of, the least amount of shoot days of the all of the uh, listed cast. <laughs> um, she should really stop playing people who are trying to get into politics. Yeah, she shouldn't. Um, House of Cards reference. And I'm not trying to make light of this poor girl's death. She. What happened to her was very tragic, but... Yes. Don't you find it a little coincidental that she's now played two characters that were close to... Politicians. Pol democratic politicians that end up dead because of their direct actions. Are you getting all Alex Jonesy, on, Jonesy in on us? Hang on, where, where's my tinfoil hat? <laughs> I know it's not tin foil, but work with me. So are you getting all Alex Jones in on us, Justin? I'm trying to see how long I can keep this up before it gets weird. It's already gotten weird. Cool, so I'll stop now. Okay, so anyway... You know what, there's a movie, you know, there's something, regardless of your political leanings, whether you're conservative, liberal, socialist, libertarian, or just don't freaking care about politics. Or um, part of the run is too damn high party. <laughs> I should totally join that party. Okay. Anyway, thank you. Um, but, you know, this kind of, it, this is kind of a, a thing that kind of, Ask a question that maybe we could discuss this now. Does this, um... Do you think this party is... Do you think this movie is more pro... Oh, Ted Kennedy, he's misunderstood. It was an accident. Or, oh, a-hole. Somebody died. Why did they re-elect him? He's, his ass should have been in jail. Or do you think this was more... We're just going to tell you the facts. We're not going to try to be pro-Ted Kennedy. We're not going to try to be anti-Kennedy. We're just going to just give you the facts. Well, that's an interesting question because kind of gives you the point of view of both. In the beginning, I felt more sympathetic for Ted Kennedy. And during the end, I was more against him. Because it was the typical, I didn't do it. Well, I did, but here's why I did it. X, Y, Z, the sun was in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Yada, yada, yada. They give you the facts. 
they they give you almost exclusively from the Kennedy's point of from Ted Kennedy's point of view. Yeah, because there was a scene that I was kind of questioning with you. They were going to when he's like snapping at his cousin and his friend. Well, you guys could have helped me out. I'm like thinking, were they trying to put the try to make him look like an asshole? Or maybe he was just probably at that moment in a state of shock and would snap at anybody. So it is an interesting question. Or how he was trying to pull up the funeral, the whole, you know, putting a neck brace on. Oh my god, that was so silly. And remember they say, uh, he had a sedatives for a concussion. Uh that could kill him. <laughs> remember this, the scene where they had the doctor there? This is And the doctor's <laughs> like, look at there. Quoted Biden. George Corlin. Who are you people and where's my horse? <laughs> I'm a big George Corlin fan, so Anyway, this was what did you say? The Bay of Pigs was ran better. Yeah, they had Bob McNamara in it, played well, by Clancy Brown, most famously known as Mr. Krabs on SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, that's not what he's most famous for, but he it's is something he is famous for. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's part of like the PR team to kind of pat this down as quickly as possible. And thank God the man was going to land on the moon in a few hours. As Kennedy had said, you know, President Kennedy, we choose to go to the moon, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. We choose to go to the moon. Mm-hmm. I wonder if, like I said in the movie, I wonder if they, if this happened, hmm. Oh, hold on, can you give me that for a second? I wonder if With you it looks like a yarmulke. You're the nice Irish boy with a yarmulke. <laughs> anyway, I wonder if maybe that this was all planned around the time, so it could all coincide, and maybe everybody would forget about Ted and just focus on the man on the moon. Wait. <laughs> I'll one-up you on that. Really? Ted Kennedy hired Stanley Kubrick. The stage of moon landed! Exactly. We must tell the world! We must tell the world! Wait, you think the world is watching this or... No, just like 50 people. <laughs> but hey, you 50 people who are watching, tell your friends, tell your relatives, tell, tell your, your pets, wives. tell your pets, your... <laughs> tell everyone! Including the people you don't like. They're finally useful. Especially you, Mark. Mark? There's gotta be one person named Mark watching. Yeah, Mark. But anyway, in all seriousness, this... So, so, do you... But like I said, that scene when he's like snapping at everybody, are, are they trying to make Ted Kenny look like an asshole? Or was he probably just an A? Or do you think maybe it was just a state of shock? I'm honestly not sure, because... Something this heavy will make a person do crazy things. Oh, I'd be doing that right away. Um. But, you know, this raises... But, yeah, like I said, um, from what I'm saying, I think what you said was correct. They're saying, okay, here's the pro-Kennedy standpoint, here's the anti-Kennedy standpoint, and we'll make you form your own conclusion. Because I don't think it was really... Because there are scenes that they make Ted Kennedy sort of sympathetic. Made you, made you kind of sympathize with him. Absolutely. If they um, made it totally anti-Kennedy, they would just make him a total a-hole the whole film. Yeah, um, so one of the really good acting moments, I thought, um, one of the really good moments in this film is he's in the chief of police's office and he's making phone calls. He has to call Mary Jo's parents. And he's trying to tell the father who would probably be the more stoic person to talk to less likely to break down but he's not there so he has to tell the mother and you're thinking oh shite and after that he starts to break down and he's just so broken about what he's done yeah I think the acting was really good in this <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I... I love com- comedians in this movie, too. Ed Helms, Jim Gaffigan. Um, Who did Jim Gaffigan play? He was 
the Attorney General, Paul. Yeah. Um, who else? Could you count Clancy Brown? He's... Nah, he's not really a comedian. He's done funny stuff, but he's not a comedian. And now here's the big question. Do you think that this movie... Sorry we're talking about in context of the event instead of the movie, but do you think this movie raised more... Que do you think this movie um raised more questions than it answered, or do you think it answered... An were you thinking, okay, I'm satisfied, let's go home and eat a sandwich? Well, what more questions do you have? Like, you're thinking, okay, well, what really happened that night is... Well, they showed what really happened. You because know, he people was were, But people were kind of puzzled at the end of all this. In real life, they were like, uh, A, you know, when he makes the statement, they're like, hey, that doesn't really answer anything, buddy. Tell us what really happened. The public probably doesn't get many answers. We get the answers, but... Yeah. But, um, like I said, I liked the movie. I enjoyed it. Um, do I think it's 100% accurate? Probably not, because... If you want to go see 100% accuracy, go watch a documentary. Mm. But, um... I, I think the movie was good as someone who really knows who is a history buff. And I did minor in political science in college. So I minored. I majored in communications. But, you know, you know even that book, because I majored in PR, you could see a lot of the PR, you know, mm -hmm. trying to cover it up. But, yeah, I, I liked it. Mm. I didn't think it was a masterpiece. No. But um, I really like no. Well, I had Joe Kennedy, Ted Kennedy's father. How in the trailer they actually had him talking, and I was like thinking, no, because he suffered a stroke in the early '60s, which he was never able to speak again. Hmm. And like in this movie, I'm like, oh god, I hope they didn't do that. I know that's like a tiny little thing, but well, they kept it. They like, kept, hey, they... he's not gonna talk. Okay, I'm satisfied for being accurate. Um, I think what you saw was probably a, well, one, it might not even have been, uh, Joe Kennedy. It might have been someone else. It might have, who knows, it could have been McNamara that we saw in that trailer. It, it, I saw somebody in a wheelchair, so. Oh, it was a guy in a wheelchair. Yeah. Well, who knows? I'll have to watch the trailer again. But there is a scene when, when he says, uh, Teddy, your dad wants to speak to you. And he smacks him. That was kind of funny. Mm. I can't speak, so I'm going to do this. Any anyway. So, final verdict? I liked it. Um, I wonder what the Kennedy family thinks about this movie. Well, Joe Kennedy the third is currently a rep in Massachusetts. Why don't and you at him on Twitter? You know what? I think I should do that. Hmm. I was kidding. He'd probably think I'm crazy, wouldn't he? <laughs> well, Chris Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy's son, actually just ran for governor in um, Illinois, but he lost mm. in the primary. So, huh. I really would like to know what the Kennedy family thought about this movie. There's probably going to be some sort of press about it. Unless the movie, like, completely bombs. Then they probably go, what movie? <laughs> what movie? We, we didn't don't see any movie. <laughs> okay, so, final verdict. Thumbs up. You? So, I did like the movie. I did have some gripes with it. Yeah. Mostly the pacing in the middle, and... <laughs> yeah, I would give that a thumbs down, of the pacing sometimes. And, uh, the, uh, some of the motivations... To me, felt unclear, especially towards the end. Mm -hmm. But I will also give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Well, don't forget, this also carps on the question of legacy and, you know, like what's Ted Kennedy's legacy going to be? Is this going to screw up his his soon to be ambitions? Well, kind of did, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, we hope you enjoyed this review of Chapa Critic. If you didn't... Sorry. 
Okay. Our, Sorry. Our next review, we don't know. We'll we'll get back to you on that. We might just wait until. You know. We'll we, see. We might do something else between now and then. We don't know, but we will definitely give you Infinity Wars. Won't we? Probably. We will. Probably. Bye, guys. Bye.